Hi everybody and welcome to May, right? April showers bring May flowers. So today we're going to talk about May flower granny power. And in this 31 day series, I'm going to share my favorite flower granny square projects with you. I love these groovy fun project ideas and with the warmer weather, granny projects are perfect. They're small, easy to bring along on trips, and nice to save up for cooler weather to piece together. So let's get started. All right, everybody, welcome to day 31. This is the last day of the um, Granny Flower Power Mayflowers <laughs> series. Um, this is the one that inspired this series, actually. I saved uh, my favorite for last. I guess you, I would say it was my favorite. Maybe it's just the picture that I love so much, but um, I, I love this one. I love the look of it. So this is a free square pattern by addys.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open that up and we'll take a closer look. Just like with all of these, um, what really inspired me to to save these patterns was the colors. And I really just love the colors she chose for these. Um, so like I said, this is a free uh, pattern for this square. I love it in black. I love it in white. It says lots of colors and flowers. Isn't that the best combo ever? Well, for me it is, and I think we can all use some flower power, so I made this cute little flower square for you. You can get the free pattern and photo tutorial below, or support me by purchasing the ad-free version at Etsy or Ravelry. So, um, yeah, like I said, you can certainly, um, you can get the free pattern right here. She used Sile Craft Special DK with a 4mm hook and her square measures 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Um, yeah, so it's pretty easy to find the pattern and look, she's even got the diagram. So for those of us who, who like using a diagram, it's really nice. And she's also got a photo tutorial. So really nice, um, really, really nice. I, I love this photo tutorial. I mean, she really took a picture of every single step, which is really, really nice. Yeah, I love these colors. So pretty, so pretty. So let me know what you think of this one. Would you be inspired to make it in black or white? Would you want to use really bright bubblegummy colors? Or would you want to use pastels or all one color. Maybe you'd want to make them all the same. Would you do them all different? Let me know what you think of it. I'd really like to know. All right, everybody. Like I said, this is the last day of this uh, series. I found this to be super fun. I really enjoyed it a lot. And um, I'd love to know which was your favorite uh, granny square, granny flower square. And uh, yeah, I'd really love to know also if you are planning on making any of these wonderful patterns. Um, I really enjoy finding these patterns for you and I hope you enjoy uh, watching these little short videos as much as I enjoy making them. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>